two teams that desperately need a win in Mount Pleasant tonight as the Northern Illinois Huskies travel to take on the Central Michigan Chippewas right here inside McGurk Arena on ESPN3. I'm Adam Jackson alongside my partner Matt DeVries. And Matt, the Mac West standings are clogged. These two teams tied for fourth place as we take a look at the standings right now. What a start for Northern Illinois on the road at Mount Pleasant. An 18-point lead against Central Michigan. And how about the freshman? We spotlighted him in the open. Eugene German, four of six from the floor and already into double figures with 10 points. McLean banging with Scott. He's done a great job defensively and forces an air ball. Deron Scott, so good underneath on the defensive end tonight. Keen gets it to Scott, and the flush on the other end. A good crowd here at McGurk Arena on a Saturday afternoon. Chippewas giving them something to cheer about, a couple slams. Play great D on one end, reward the big fella on the other. Scott with his first two, and the Chippewas are back in front by two. What does Miami have? Back and forth we go, punch for punch between the Red Hawks and the Chippewas. Weathers pulls from the top and nails it. Oh, that is a huge shot from the freshman. Ice in his veins. And he now has climbed up to 14 points. Keen will step back, splash. Silly, high five to one of our spectators in the front row. A bump and there's a foul. I think that's going to go against Durant Scott as the attack was from Weathers. Durant Scott picking up the personal there, but the highlight reel slam. Great vision from Marcus Keen. McLean too late. Duran Scott loves to scream and shout after a big slam. He gets animated, that's for sure, as Weathers knocks down the free throw. 15 points for Michael Weathers. Kaczynski coming back in to replace Williams. Scott picked up his third personal. He's done an admirable job underneath, trying to bang with McLean. We told you about the difference in the paint. It's been a big margin for Miami, but Scott holding his own. As Weathers goes one of two at the line. And for people just joining us, Adam, I mean, really sparked the CMU team was the ejection of Keno yeah. Davis. Not happy with some of the officiating and the crowd here in McGurk Arena tended to agree with him. And, and ever since then, the Chippewas have been playing with a little bit more passion, a little bit more fire and some grit. And they've clawed their way back into this ball game. He was ejected about the 12 minute mark. It was a one point game. We're in the same spot right now, except the Chippewas now have the lead. Whip pass, stripped away by Keen, and now he comes out the other way. Two on three as he drives quickly up the floor and scores. <laughs> 29 points for Marcus Keen. Miami with three defenders back. He took it the entire way by himself. Roadrunner style from Keen, number three. Absorbing some of that contact. You knew he was going right to the rim as soon as he got across half court. Was not going to be denied an attempt at the bucket. And he's shown it this season. That's what he does best. 11th game this season. Marcus Keen has eclipsed 30 points. Done that in 19 of the Chippewa games. Impressive, Central Michigan by four. Great job, Red Hawks beat the press down the floor. That's too easy. They've done a great job of getting out and moving the ball quickly as soon as a free throw or a made bucket has gone through for CMU. Red Hawks doing a great job. Keen with the blow by and another lay in. And a foul called. With 5.36 to play against Braylon Rayson. That's his second. Of course, by now, 19th game of the season for both teams. Word's gotten out about Marcus Keene and his ability to score. And teams have had more time to prepare of how they're going to stop him. And whatever the Red Hawks have thrown at Marcus Keene today, especially in the second half, it hasn't worked. A loose ball, Ron Scott didn't see it, it was picked up by Rod Mills. Weathers the quick step, what a finish. And the freshman lost his shoe again. Oh my, but what a great finish by him to get right to the bucket. He's carrying his shoe down the floor as he tried to block that shot from Marcus Keene. 
And they'll get up. You ever seen that before? <laughs> Third time someone's lost a shoe in this one. <laughs> Crazy. Sprinting, full court, shoe in hand. Look at him go. <laughs> Meanwhile, through all the loose laces, we've got a ball game right now, and just a two-point game. CMU doing a better job at this half of getting to the free throw line. 12 attempts in the second half from the strike. Tie that thing up, young fella. Marcus Keene continuing his scoring barrage. 33 points for Central Michigan. Keen gets them both. Miami this season, when they give up 81 points or more, they're 0-4. Chippewa sit at 83 with five minutes to play, but this one not over. Offensively, we'll see if they go back inside to McLean. McLean has 18. He leads the Red Hawks. Off balance shots, too Ooh. strong from Haruna. What a rebound by Duran Scott. Whoa. And here we go the other way. Keen will pull up. Unbelievable from Marcus Keen. Just doesn't stop. Are you kidding me? He's fooling around right now. This is ridiculous. 37 for the transfer from Youngstown State. And listen to this crowd. What a game so far between Central Michigan and Miami. It was a 10-point lead for the Red Hawks at the break. They've yet to lose when leading at the half, but right now Central Michigan has flipped the script, and we go back to when Keno Davis got ejected. The Chippewas were down by one. They've come back. They've taken their largest lead of seven points, just 4-12 to play in Mount Pleasant. Going to try and hang on to this lead, and Marcus keene has been a big reason why. He got 37 points so far this afternoon. His career high is 44. That came at Montana State earlier in the non-conference. He's hit 40 points twice this season, looking to do it for a third time as he leads the country in scoring. Average will certainly go up today. And there's a steal by Rayson. He finds Marcus Keene. He'll pull up. Another three for Marcus Keene. And for the third time this season, he's eclipsed 40 points. Underneath a whistle and a jump ball that'll send it back to CMU. No Every time CMU Adam gets out in transition, Marcus Keene right there, big shot. We thought we were gonna have a jump ball, I think, Adam, and end up going personal foul. One official called a jump. The other official came in and said a personal foul. So free throws coming up. Michael Weathers able to knock down the first. He sits with 18. 12 of those points coming in the second half. Saw head co or assistant coach Jeff Smith acting head coach over there on the sideline for CMU without Keno Davis over there and gonna try to have to navigate the last 340 to hang on for this win. Weathers able to knock down both free throws. Miami needs a run here to try and get back into this one. Under four to play, but they haven't been able to stop Marcus Keene. It's gone off in the last four minutes. And expect the ball to stay in his hands. McLean trying to defend him. Keen, are you kidding me? He can't be stopped. 43. Weathers the dish to his brother, blocked by Scott, and they'll get called for the body contact. Uh, free throws coming at the other end. Logan McLean trying to guard Marcus Keen. 
and after this goes in, right in front of us, you see him say, oh my gosh, there's nothing he could do. That was great defense by McLean, and it doesn't matter to Marcus Keene. He doesn't care what kind of defense you play. It's impossible to play defense on Marcus Keene when he's hitting from this many. He's got a career high, nine triples. Unbelievable stuff from the junior transfer, Marcus Keene, who leads the country in scoring. Another eye-popping performance, 43 points. And down the stretch, Matt, is really where he's taken over. Deron Scott checks out quickly with his fourth personal foul. So Cecil Williams back in, see if that opens things up in the middle for Miami. In the meantime, Marcus Weathers knocks down two free throws. He has 17, his brother has 19. 18 for Logan McLean. An extended 2-3 zone with a little trap action at the top for Miami. Smart by Miami, try and get the ball out of Keene's hands. Under three to play. Quick double as soon as he gets it and he starts going towards the bucket, yet McLean gets a foul there and a chance to set a new career high. 43 points is the record inside McGurk Arena. Presley Hudson did it a few weeks ago. Might be snapped here. And he's got it. A new McGurk Arena, a record. Marcus Keene has 44, and that's tied a career high. And now a new personal career high. Marcus Keene with 45 points for the Chippewas as they're front by nine. McLean will step outside. Williams flies in for the board. And Keene will slowly bring it up the floor. 2.30 to play in Mount Pleasant. What a show put on today by the nation's leading scorer, Marcus Keene. MVP chance raining down. Keen another. Oh my goodness! Stop it, Marcus Keen. This kid is unbelievable. 